This article is sponsored by YM Cinema 65, which is a one-of-a-kind handmade stainless steel model of a 65 mm motion picture film camera. The perfect gift for filmmakers, moviegoers, camera lovers, and cinephiles. A second before his Rebel Moon debut on Netflix, Zack Snyder releases a one-minute video demonstrating some cool tips for shooting an epic film using just your smartphone. Check them out. Snow Steam Iron is a short four-minute film directed and shot by Zack Snyder in 2017. The film was shot by Snyder and Torelli on an iPhone 7 Plus with Filmic Pro app throughout one weekend with his friends and family. Snyder is not the first to utilize a smartphone to shoot a film. Many other acclaimed directors and cinematographers also did that, but mainly for PR purposes, for instance Ridley Scott, Emmanuel Lubezki and more. However, that film looks like a true passion project of Snyder. And now, before Rebel Moon debuts on Netflix, Snyder throws some tips to others. It must be noted that all the pictures in the article were shot by Clay Enos and capture the behind the scenes of Snow Steam Iron. You can see the iPhone 7 Plus on set. As stated by Snyder at the beginning of his presentation, people always ask, is the phone good enough for shooting? I made a film called Snow Steam Iron and I shot it entirely with my iPhone. Here are a few tips to help you make something epic. Snyder divides his tips into three segments, which are color, movement, and slow motion. First, Snyder starts from the post-production process, and color grading is one of those stages. As stated by Snyder, user color. Once you shoot your shot, go to edit, saturation, down, contrast, up. It makes everything look a little bit less like it just came out of your camera. Indeed, when thinking about it, this is the Snyder look which was implemented in all of his movies, especially 300. Snyder also addresses the camera movement. You should always buy a little mini slider, says Snyder. They're not very expensive. You mount your camera on it, set it on a tripod or table, and then get a nice clean push. Suddenly, you're gonna look at your shots and be like, wow, that looks like it's from a movie. Snyder continues and talks about slow motion. If you do some little push onto your Freon into a close-up, and you use a slow motion as they turn and look, it really will add to the cinematic quality of your shots. It's the working through of the angler, the subject, camera move, and collar. Snyder summarizes and states that really, in the end, creates the shot and makes it look like something more than just like, oh, I used my phone and filmed my friends. Now that you know, go film something you love.